Hi, I'm Steve Burgess, your computer forensics specialist. The question for today is, what happens when I delete a file? And the answer to that question is, not very much really happens when you delete a file, except it appears to disappear. But it doesn't actually disappear. Most of it is still left on the computer. Perhaps what we ought to answer first is, what happens when you write a document? And let's take, for example, a Microsoft Word document. Suppose you open up Microsoft Word to start a new document, a new letter or something and you're about to, you see a, a blank screen, a blank page on the screen. There is, at the same time, another kind of shadow document, an invisible temporary document, and it's generally called something like Word File A or Work File A. Now, it's possible to see these invisible documents if you change the view settings on your computer to view hidden and system files. I don't recommend it. It's actually very confusing when you see this odd little other document uh, pop up on your screen when you're trying to create one. and uh, But when you close Microsoft Word, that uh, invisible temporary document, which you can see uh, if you have your hidden file attribute turned on, goes away. It's deleted. But again, not much happens to that, just as not much happens to your file when you delete it. And also, uh, Windows has sort of a scratch pad. It's a, a virtual memory file. In Windows XP, it's called uh, pagefile.sys. And that's a very, very large file. It's very dynamic. There's stuff churning through it all of the time. So, back to our Word document. We're typing away on our Word document and we save it. Later on, we may decide we want to edit it and we open it back up. Another temporary invisible file is being formed. So, now what happens when we delete the file? Well, the first thing that happens is, say the file is called Letter to Mom, and you delete the file, you throw it in the trash, you throw it in the recycle bin, and you empty the recycle bin. The document appears to be gone. There doesn't appear to be any file left there. However, just underneath the graphical uh, interface that you see, you know, the pretty windows, there is a directory listing, and it says the name of the file. What happens in that directory listing is that the first letter of the name, the first character of the name is changed to uh, Greek Sigma, which says to the computer, you, you can overwrite this. This is, I'm not really here, but it is really there. And until such a time as that directory entry, that space in the directory is needed, that directory entry may still be there. It's got a lot of other attributes to it as well, such as where the file used to start. Well, until the content of the file gets overwritten, that file is that that content is still there as well. So it's fairly easy for a computer forensics professional, or even at that point, a, uh, a data recovery program, to go in, pick that spot, and say it starts over here, and bring that file back intact. Now, there are anti forensics tools that will uh, destroy a file but they tend not to reach the underlying additional files. So, when a Word document is deleted, there's still these other shadow documents out there, these other temporary invisible files that have been deleted, but they're still there as well. There's still a directory listing for them as well. And what's even more important from the perspective of someone working on computer forensics is that the content of the file is still out there. So we can go out, we can search for specific words that might be in the original file, and even if it is gone, we're very likely to find these invisible temporary files out there that have either the whole document or versions of the document or pieces of the document. Not only that, but there are still going to be snippets of that document in the virtual memory file. And then... Uh, yet another file is created when you go to print the file. There's a print buffer document. So simply by opening a Word file, editing it a second time, and printing it, you have a temporary Word file A, temporary Word file B perhaps, the actual original file with edits, a print buffer file, and entries, at least a couple of sets of entries in the virtual memory file. So it's amazing. There's stuff spread all over the computer. Not much happens when it's deleted. Now in time, the space may end up being needed and the content of any or all of those files may be overwritten if they've been deleted. That says to the computer, you can use this space. But in fact, when you delete a file, not very much happens. Now, 
email documents are a little different, but you can see that in my video, uh, Recovering Deleted Emails. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that answered your question.